We spend a lot of time making sure people are worthy of power, and yet Jesus sends people out who are, they're barely believers. And they go out and make all kinds of messes. Jesus brings them back, directs them, corrects them, gives them some more instructions, sends them out again. And what I'm getting at is that disciples were people who actually did signs and wonders, not just people who understood how to read the Bible. They weren't people who just knew how to treat their children, although that's important. They weren't people who just knew how to treat their wives, although that's important. They weren't people who knew how to just navigate society in a, in a, in a noble way, of course that's important, but Jesus immediately sends them out with power, and for three years, these guys who are arguing, who are still trying to work out their character, are moving in signs and wonders and miracles, and Jesus isn't like, well, when you get it all together, when you represent the kingdom well, when you guys stop arguing, when you get over your arrogance, when you stop being a narcissist, I'll send you out. No, he's sending them out in power because you can't separate the gospel from power.